What's up guys, Sagi here, and welcome to another Tech Gear Talk. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use your Canon camera for streaming without a capture card, and even if your camera doesn't have a clean HDMI output. Essentially, you're gonna be able to use your Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera like a USB camera. That means that you'll still get autofocus, you'll get that beautiful crisp look, all that functionality that you want, and it's free. I recently put out a video that shows how you can stream with the Canon M50, and it showed how you can get around the fact that this model, as well as several others, don't have a clean HDMI output. But this new software from Canon just crushes this solution, so let's get going. The first thing you wanna do is download the EOS webcam utility software. I'll put a link in the description, so just click on it, select your model, and then click on drivers and downloads, select software, select your operating system if it's not pre-selected for you, find the EOS webcam utility beta, click select, and then click the download button. This will download a zip file, so go ahead and open it and then double click on the installer file. It's super basic to install, just keep hitting next and okay until it's done. There really are no options that you can change. And once the installation is complete, you may need to reboot your computer. All right. Once you're back up, you're good to go. So just go ahead and turn your camera on. I'll use the M50 here, but this actually works with the SL2, the SL3, the M6 Mark II, EOS R, G7X Mark III, and you can see a full list of compatible cameras by clicking on the link in the description. Once your camera is turned on, make sure that it's in movie mode, and then take the proper USB cable. For the M50, it's a micro USB cable. Plug it into the camera, and then into the USB port on your computer, and that's it, you're good to go. Now you can open something like OBS or Zoom, and in the video section in the drop-down list, you should be able to see EOS Webcam Utility. And what's cool is you're gonna get a clean image. You'll have none of the overlays that you see on the LCD, like your settings and the Q menu, and the best part is that you can still use face detection without having to worry about the focus indicator or that white square being around your face. And you can use any lens that you want and you can get that shallow depth of field that we all really like. And if you find that you're running out of battery power, I created a video that's dedicated to that, which will give you solutions for the M50 as well as other Canon cameras. You'll be able to stream for as long as you want without ever having to worry about battery life. And I'll link to that video up in the corner and in the description. And here's an example of me streaming with the M50. I'm capturing this right through OBS, so I'm just recording the stream so that you can see the quality of the footage. I can see in the fully articulating screen that my face has been detected, I've got the focus indicator on it, so I'm being tracked, but what OBS or Zoom sees is just a clean image. If you like this look where the background is separated from me and you wanna know more about how I'm achieving it, I have a video that's dedicated to the lens that I'm using right now, it's the Sigma 30 millimeter F 1.4, and it really helps achieve this look. All right, moving on, when I first tried to install the software, the installation worked, but the actual image never showed up. I could select EOS Webcam Utility from the dropdown list, but instead of a video, I would just get the black background with the EOS Webcam Utility beta on it. And if you're running into that same issue, the problem is that you have the EOS Utility app installed. What's happening here is that the EOS Utility app is grabbing the signal from your camera before it can get to the EOS Webcam Utility. You could uninstall it if that's not a program that you use and then you'll be good to go. Or if you're like me and you do happen to use that software, you can just right click on the taskbar, click on Task Manager, Look for EOS Utility App, click on it, and then click End Task. That's it, now you should be able to use your camera with no problems. If you do it this way, you will have to end the task every time you restart your computer, so just keep that in mind. And of course, this is just a beta software from Canon, so I'm sure they'll fix this soon. In case you skip to this section, I just wanna mention again that if you're running out of battery power, I published a video that shows you how to have continuous, unlimited power with the M50, as well as pretty much any other Canon camera. And with that solution, you'll be able to stream for as long as you want and you don't have to worry about battery life. And again, I'll put a link to that video in the description. And before I finish up, if you like what you've seen so far, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. It helps me know what kind of content you guys like so that I can make more of it. And if it's your first time here, 
Go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification buttons so you can stay up to date on all the latest gear and tutorials. All right, so that's how you can stream for free with pretty much any recent Canon camera without needing to buy a capture card. You have autofocus, you have high quality video, and you're all set. Thank you, Canon, for putting this software out and making it free. I know it's gonna help a ton of people up the production value of their stream. I'll put links in the description to some of the cameras that I talked about, the power solution, as well as some of my favorite lenses and accessories, because there are always specials and discounts, and those links will automatically be updated with the lowest pricing. I really hope I was able to teach you how to stream for free with your Canon camera. If I did, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, tweet it, share it, and if you haven't yet, join the community by hitting the subscribe and notification buttons. You can always find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Tech Gear Talk. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.